In this short training video, I'm going to show you how to select a program from the ClickView uh, online service and to edit it. Either edit it down to a clip which you want to use for your students or edit it by inserting sections or as, as they're called chapters in the video. So first of all, we're going to, we've logged into ClickView online and we're going to find a video which we want to edit. I'll go to the 24-7 cloud and we've got the most popular programs on the front page there. And I'm going to edit this program called Superfoods. So I need to, uh, first of all, click on it. And I'll be given the option of either going straight into edit mode or adding it to my workspace where I can edit there. It, it's generally better to add it to your workspace and do the editing there. Um, so I would click Add to Workspace. What I then get is a message telling me that it's been added to a queue to go to my workspace. and I'll get an email when that happens, but also it'll take us a, a few minutes depending on the length of the program. So to save time, I've already added that to my workspace. So I'm going to cancel this just now. So now I go to my workspace and you can, you can see I've already added superfoods there. And what I'm now going to do is click on the video to go into it. What will happen, it'll launch immediately. So I'll click on it once to stop it running. And you can see I've got a set of tabs along here. I can share that video by creating a link to it. I can add it to a playlist. I can send a request for it to be added to the college library, or I can edit it. And in this case, we're going to edit it. I click on edit, and then I'm asked to launch the ClickView Cloud Editor. So that takes me into editing mode. The video is being lo loaded into the Cloud Editor at a low resolution so that it's fairly quick. And also it means that you can, again, I'll click on it to stop it running. And also it means that you can uh, scroll through it with ease. But when you save it, it's saved back into a high resolution version. When a program is taken from the 24-7 cloud into your workspace, or when any program is recorded from Terrestrial TV, five minutes are added to it at the beginning and the end to make sure that you, you've not missed the program. So what we need to do is take those five minutes off, or ideally we should take those five minutes off. You've got two bars here. This bar is the entire length of the program, and this is your editing bar here. So we're going to use the scrolling tabs, if you like, the, the, these that allow us to move the video in and, and back to find that first section, that for, you know, take off the first five minutes. And we'll find that Superfoods starts just around, um, I think, just trying to find it here, starts around here. So superfoods. So there's the beginning of the program. And I'll do the same at the other end. I'll find the end of the program. And I think it's just about there. Superfoods. So that's the, the five minutes taken off at the beginning and the end. If that's all I want to do, then I would just click Save. However, in this instance, what I want to do is take uh, create a clip from the program. So I've already obviously viewed the video. I know where my clip is. So I'm going to scroll in. And let's say my clip is somewhere around uh, this point where we're looking at the effects of um, enzymes on the body and so forth, uh, 1319. And then I'm going to bring the other end in to give me that clip down to just the end of the first half of the program, which I think is just about, just about uh, here. Okay. Now, if you want more f fine adjustments, you can use the arrows down here. So, for instance, I can move that forward by one second, by 10 seconds, by a minute. So let's go forward 10 seconds there. And I think that's enough. So there's my clip. And if I'm happy with that, I'm going to uh, save that into my workspace. But I want to make sure that I distinguish it from the main video because the main video still stays in my workspace. So I need to give this a different name. So this I'm going to call Superfoods Clip 1. And I'm then going to save that, click Save. Now, what happens is I get a message to tell me that that piece of video has been put into a queue to go into my workspace. And again, I'll get an email to tell me when that's done, although usually the email arrives after it's actually happened. So in the meantime, I'm going to return to my workspace. And when I return to my workspace, you'll see I've got 
pending videos up here and it tells me that I've got one video pending waiting to come into my workspace. Superfoods, that the main piece of video which I look, put into my workspace, the main program I should say, is still there. You know, we haven't uh, deleted it or anything. So when you're editing down to a clip, you're creating the clip as a new item. And you can see now that's now appeared in my workspace. If I click on that, there's Superfoods Clip 1. So that's now ready to be uh, used with my students, uh, create a link to it, or even uh, upload it to the college library. And I'll show you in a separate piece of uh, training video how to share clips and edited programs that you've created. But let's go back to the main superfoods and look at editing it in a different way. That's editing to create a clip. We'll go back to superfoods and I'll just click on the edit tab and click on the launch click view cloud editor and then I'll just click on the video to stop it running so I'm back in to editing that video now it may be that you want to show more than one chunk of the video so a good idea is perhaps to put breaks in it so that you can show individual sections of the video and in click view these are called chapters and you can see we've got a chapters tab up here so First of all, I'm going to take the five minutes off there and the five minutes off at the other end, uh, approximately there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this video down into sections. Now, again, you'd, you'd have to have previewed the video, know where you want to be with your sections. But let's say my first section, I want it to be something like here. Um, so I've moved my section along to there and I'm going to insert a break. Then I move this tab a bit further and I'm going to insert another break here. Insert a break. It is recommended by ClickView that you, you, you make breaks every five minutes in programs because it makes for smoother viewing, but um, you can you know, you can have longer sections than that. I'm going to move my tab along, insert another break, move my tab along, insert another break, and so forth. You know, so you could do that in order to um, break your program down into sections. And then, obviously, to help you find those sections, you can name them. So, if I go to the chapters tab, you can see I've got the chapters that I've created. And if I click on the word chapter. I can name that, let's say, Section 1 um, Health Spa or something like that. Section 2 might be um, Enzymes and so forth. You could do that, go through that name in your sections. And now again, I would, when I'm finished, I would click Save. Um, the other thing, of course, that I, I, I don't have to do this time um, is I don't have to change the name of the video because this is the main superfoods video. I'm breaking it down into sections. Um, so I'll click save and again I'll get this message that my video has been added to a queue to return to my workspace, uh, to go into my workspace. And I'll get an email at some point telling me that that's been done. Now in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to my workspace. And what you'll see is again I've got the pending video, the video coming back in. And what you notice is the main video that I worked with is still there. So I'm bringing in the whole Superfoods video, but this second one that I'm bringing in will have chapters in it and will have the beginning and end taken off. So actually what I can do now is I can delete this one because I don't need it anymore. And you can see now my Superfoods video has been added. Superfoods, the real story. And that's the original that I worked from. And you'll see that that takes up a certain amount of space in here. So it, it's a good idea once you've done the editing you want to do to get rid of the original source video. Remember, you can always find it again from the uh, click view library. But delete this video. I'll click there. Are you sure you want to remove this video? Yeah. And so now what I've got is my Superfoods clip and my Superfoods whole video with the beginning and end taken off and divided down into chapters. And in another training video, I'll show you how to share these.